National Treasury Acting Cabinet Secretary Honorable Ambassador Korea Tani has lauded the Kenya Revenue Authority for various tax administration modernization measures it has put in place. The Acting Cabinet Secretary was on a familiarization tour on the KRA operations at the inland container depot in Embakasi today, said the automation of tax administration functions is key in announcing both transparency and efficiency. He added that automation of KRA processes has reduced human intervention in handling cargo right from the port of Mombasa to the ICD and other destinations. To further enhance efficiency and reduce cargo clearance timeframes at the ICD, the CS said that the government will install more cargo scanners as well as recruit additional information technology experts for KRA, among other resources. Minimized. A lot of automation has taken place, and this can be monitored from Times Tower, from uh, you know a particular locality. So that human interaction is reduced. And we are very, very much impressed with the level of modernization. It's also important to note that uh, ICD is operating 24 hours. And the challenge is that uh, the, the, the individual importers or uh, you know, uh, owners of the container are not coping with the pace. We want to invite them, we want them to come any time of the day so that they can clear, particularly the off-peak off season, off-peak times, like in the evening, like at night, uh, so that we can really offload and, and clear the containers as fast as they come. We have a pre period of about four days that's given usually free. Uh, ICD has a capacity to process it within six hours. But a lot will also depend on the pressure, uh, the efficiency of the individual uh, container owners. So we are really impressed with the level of modernization, with the, you know, uh, technology that has gone into it and we undertake to improve more by having additional scanners uh, and also uh, IT officers for the KRA so that the processing can be done faster and within the time. Uh, we've we've see also seen the growth of the, uh, the revenue collection as a result of uh, you know the modern equipment. There have been a lot of improvement and that is the direction we are going to go. The acting cabinet secretary further loaded partner government agencies involved in the process of handling cargo, including the Kenya Ports Authority and the Kenya Bureau of Standards, for working in synergy with KRA to enhance efficiency. The CS stated that the government's goal is to make Kenya a center of excellence in trade facilitation, since it is the hub of the East Africa community. I, I can confirm that there's a lot of improvement in terms of clearing of the the various containers. There's a lot of improvement. And there's also the cooperation and the engagement between the stakeholders, the Kenya Post Authority, uh, Kenya Bureau of uh, Standards, uh, KRA. That synergy between the various agencies have really uh, improved the flow and you know, the efficiency of the clearing. And we are now working to enforce, as I said earlier, which now gives an opportunity to uh, container owner to come any, any time and process. One of the fundamentals that we have also realized that, you know, we do not actually start clearing the, uh, from the ICD while here. It starts all the way from at the time, you know, the manifest is launched. The initial clearance are already undertaken. But so by the time we come here, uh, what remains only just a fraction of the process that it undergoes uh, through. Uh, that synergy between the agencies have really improved and we want to appeal to, uh, for more cooperation. As a ministry, we're also going to add uh, more resources uh, for the KRA to ensure that these things are uh, move faster. And you should also realize that we are not only uh, servicing, uh, you know, the local market. We are looking at the region, and this one we want to be a center of excellence, uh, not only in Kenya but also in the region, because we serve a, a number of other countries, including as far as DRC, uh, Burundi, Rwanda, Uganda. Sudan and this, the number of cargoes that go through here is monumental and we want to increase the efficiency so that we can clear more and so the, for the goods to reach uh, the, the intended destination and through this we are also able to raise a lot of revenue uh, for our own uh, you know uh, managing of the government expenditure.
with the CS piece, you mentioned that also uh, you have to introduce the human interaction with the cargo. I really like you to see more people getting fired. <laughs> well, why should people be fired? <laughs> if you are reducing the interaction, what, because what, if you modernize the systems, then the people who maybe used to work at those points... But instead, you actually will need more people, but highly specialized people, to be operating the machine. So that we used to clear uh, 50,000 per month, we want to triple that number. That means more scanners, more equipment, and also more personnel, because the machines have to be operated by people. But what you're saying is that, you know, that interaction, like now opening the container and confirming what is in, is now reduced to bare minimum because the machine can do the, uh, can undertake the same uh, job. So, thank you. Thank you very you. much. We are going to... Noting that the ICD is a 24-hour function, the Acting Cabinet Secretary observed the government will reach out to other key stakeholders, such as shipping lines, to deliberate them on the alignment to the ICD operating hours. He indicated that the alignment will be a key factor to further enhance cargo clearance time frames. The CS also visited the regional electronic cargo tracking system and integrated scanner management solution command centers at Times Tower. The two centers are a hallmark in the modernization initiatives that Kigere has implemented to enhance efficiency in the management of cargo. Speaking at the same forum, KRA Commissioner General Mr. Gidi Mburu stated that KRA is reaping the fruits of modernization of tax systems within the Customs and Border Control Department. Apart from enhanced efficiency, Mr. Mburu noted that Customs revenue are now an impressive upward curve. He added that among the landmark automation initiatives that have been instrumental in beating tax evasion include the modern cargo scanners installed at the port of Mombasa, ICD and the Namanga one-stop border post. The Commissioner General noted that installation of cargo scanners has gone a long way in stamping out malpractices such as misdeclaration and underdeclaration of cargo to further attack the efficiency a notch higher. The Commissioner said the KRA is in the process of procuring additional scanners for installation at all border points. Reporting for the Kenya Digital News, my name is John Matava.